Welcome guys and girls, another reInvent announcement video. DynamoDB now supports multi-attribute composite keys. This is a big deal. I'm going to go over all the mambo jumbo, what is primary key, composite key, etc. Then we are going to understand what were the challenges before this change. And then we are going to go over how does this reInvent announcement solve that. And then I'll show you a short demo as well. All right, let's get started. So let's first understand DynamoDB primary key. As the name suggests, primary key uniquely identifies each item in the table. Now there are two kinds of primary keys in DynamoDB. One is the simple primary key where there is only one field creating this primary key. And we call this key as the partition key. There's another kind of primary key which is called composite primary key. And composite primary key consists of two fields. One is the partition key and the second is the sort key. Let's understand this with an example. Okay, so let's say we have a DynamoDB table called artist songs, which saves information about artists, their song title, album title, etc. So we can define a primary key in this table. Uh, so if we want to create a simple primary key, we will just have the partition key on let's say the field artist this will make the primary key. But what that means is, uh, remember primary key must be unique. So you cannot insert two records with the same artist, um, which is kind of challenging because this same artist, that Cap for Cutie, really good artist by the way, check them out, um, will have multiple songs. So then you will create a composite primary key. So now in addition to the partition key, you will also have a sort key, which will have the song title. So the combination of artist and song title will be unique. And what is, why do we care about this primary key? It's because we can use this uh, primary key to query the table directly instead of scanning all the records in the table. So if the table has a lot of rows, it will be very slow to scan the table, whereas query is faster. So it avoids slow scans. Now let's say you have the requirement to find out the albums based on genre and the year. So all you have is the genre and then the year and you want to find the other information. So you cannot really query by the primary key anymore because you cannot use artist and song title in the query based on this new requirement. So instead of scanning, what if you want to query using genre and year? So this is what you do before this change happen, okay? Um, so you will define a GSI or global secondary index on additional fields. So the same rule applies. So even GSI has a partition key and the sort key. So, okay, so we can create a global secondary index where let's say the partition key is genre and the sort key is 2005. So GSI can still be simple, simple uh, GSI. So if you want to make a simple GSI, then you will just define the partition key. If you want to make a composite global secondary index, then you will define a sort key. Even though this part is similar, there are some differences between primary key and global secondary index. So the partition and sort key fields are different. So often people get confused. They think global secondary index, partition key and sort key has to be same as this primary key, partition key, sort key. No, that will defeat the purpose, right? Um, so they are different fields. Second, this is the biggest different difference. Global secondary index do not have to be unique. So there could be two records with the same GSI. So there could be another record with another artist and another song title having a unique primary key because that you must satisfy, but a duplicate genre and year. That's totally fine. Um, another thing is GSI fields can be empty or blank. Uh, so often you will create fields and in DynamoDB, not every record can have same fields. With primary key, neither the partition key nor the sort key can be empty. You always have to have values in them. Whereas for global secondary index, they can have empty values. But it does solve our challenge where now you can use this global secondary index to query this table using genre and year, right? You don't have to do the scan. Now let's say another requirement came in, 
now you have to query using genre, year, and song rating, right? But you can only have one field in partition key and one field in sort key, right? So you could use the GSI and then you can scan, not optimal. And there was another workaround that was very popular and I actually implemented this in multiple customers when I was at AWS. Um, fun fact, I am also using this in my own startup. So I, after this change, my life will be easier. Okay, so of course no one wants to do scan. So you keep the partition key to the genre, but instead of the year as the sort key, you create another field where you concatenate this year and song rating. So you create this field called year song rating and you just concatenate these two fields. So in this case, 2005, 4.9. So then you define the sort key as this combined field and then in the code you concat these two values and then you use this new field to query the table right then it's still efficient however the code becomes inefficient you have to save extra field in the table and there is additional overhead okay this is where the change comes in so now let's say you need to query using genre year and song rating Right, so now what you can do is, instead of using this concatenated field, all this overhead or using scan, so let's say you have the partition key, genre, indie rock, you can have sort key one for year, and you can have another sort key field. So before you can have only one field for partition key, another field for sort key, now you can have multiple fields. Now you don't need to do all this concatenation or do scans. You can have up to four partition fields and four sort key fields, right? So you can use query and not scan. So this is pretty awesome. I'm confident a lot of customer will adopt this because this part is a, is a pain because as new um, application requirements come in, you, you have to do this concatenation and additional scans. This solves all those problems. So one thing you may think is like, so why not put everything in GSI, right? So now we have four fields in partition, four fields in sort. Why can't I just put eight fields and then be done with it? You don't wanna do that. It's like the same concept in relational, like why you don't want to put all the fields in an index. It's because this uh, global secondary index uses additional storage, right? It's storing the index in additional space. Also, it requires additional throughput. As soon as you um, insert an item into the table or update something, it's going and updating and doing all that stuff. So now you have to be careful of the capacity of the table. So, so you have to be cognizant of how much capacity your table is using. And if you are not careful, uh, let's say you are using provision capacity where you have given particular amount of read capacity unit and write capacity unit. Because this GSI takes additional capacity unit to calculate and maintain, you might face throttling to the main table, right? Because this GSI is eating away the capacity. Also, GSI is eventually consistent. And the more fields you add, the more time it can take to make it consistent. Because the way it happens is, it just writes all the fields into the table, and then the GSI is uh, being uh, calculated and updated, so it can take a little bit of the time. If you want to know how to answer questions about these new enhancements in an interview, as well as some of the other popular cloud interview questions, download my cloud interview guide, which has 80 such questions with average answers, good answers, and great answers that my students use to get into AWS, Facebook, Netflix, and more. I'll give the link in the description. Back to the video. Okay, but overall this change is awesome because no one's gonna put eight fields into the GSI, right? Because that's a little bit extreme. So let me jump into my console and show you a quick demo. Okay, so if I go to DynamoDB and I click Create Table, Let's say test table. Um, so this is the primary key, right? So here you will not see multiple partition key, multiple sort key. So here, let's say I give artist 
and then I give song title then I click create table okay so now in this table if I go to indexes so there is no indexes so I click create global secondary index I can give genre as the partition key so now you can see you can add up to three more attributes so that's pretty dope right um, and then I can go to the sort key which is optional so if I just do one field it becomes a simple global secondary index if I give both then it becomes composite so in this case I can give year and I can also add another attribute song rating right and then and and you can see I can add even two more attributes I scroll down actually this is another uh, hint that look this is an index capacity so it shows that global secondary index needs additional capacity right um, okay so here I can create index okay so now it's creating and so it will be created okay so now uh, let's create an item let's say artist so create item if I duplicate this okay so the item created so okay this is cool see now you can do scan or query so if I do query so you can of course query by the partition key and the sort key which is the primary key however now look you can do index new app feature now the partition key of GSI and the sort key so if you click add new attribute so then it gives the song rating that's pretty cool that's pretty cool okay five then I click run boom death cup for cutie I'll follow you into the dark yep and you can do the same thing in your code all right folks if this was helpful please click the like button put a comment in you know we gotta make our sacrifices to the YouTube gods so that this channel can grow all right keep learning and keep rocking